welcome back we explore number of options related to the virtualization infrastructure and now time comes that we have to understand an other tremendous option related to this virtualization industry and here when we click on the action button you can see that a snapshot available here now uh, users uh, definitely surprised that uh, what will happen when we implement this option and what going with the snapshot configuration so let's get understand the uh, real concept of snapshot because it is really tremendous tremendous uh, option when you are working in any kind of enterprise level virtualization infrastructure or working on corporate projects or uh, in any kind of uh, uh, you can say uh, a small and medium sized business so this option uh, having tremendous benefits for uh, virtualization team uh, which are working on the technical side so here uh, you you done with the operating system installation you have done with the updates uh, right now your team lead convey you that you have to install a SQL server on your uh, virtual infrastructure you go with the SQL server uh, installation but unfortunately you get failed with the installation process and now there are number of temporary uh, temporary file exist uh, in the C partition and now uh, you go uh, and uninstall the uh, failed SQL server installation with a number of components but unfortunately um, uh, this uninstallation process of the SQL server get failed again now it's it's like the nightmare where uh, all the things messed up with each other you will go with the uh, manual uh, process you you go with the registry editing options you go with the uh, manual deletion options but uh, in this situation definitely uh, you cannot uh, get your machine or virtual machine healthy so in that scenario you can utilize the snapshot option what this option done for you basically when you click on the snapshot and click on the option tag snapshot so uh, uh, what will be happened after clicking on the uh, tag snapshot button uh, this esxi environment will create a snapshot for you uh, as a repository as a as a reference repository uh, related to your fresh installation with updates when uh, you take the snapshot after operating system installation and uh, updates now you can uh, you, you go with the uh, sql server installation or any other deployment uh, uh, which you are uh, uh, doing for your infrastructure and whenever installation get failed or any kind of error occurred you can easily revert to the previous state by clicking just one button so that is the tremendous option you don't go for the troubleshooting you don't uh, waste your time because it's a it's a system uh, system critical applications and uh, you want to make your IT operations butter smooth so in that scenario where you want to go with any any kind of change especially in the production environment so you have to utilize this snapshot option it will take an snap as a reference and save it uh, in ESXi 6.7 or any other version and whenever your uh, deployment your new deployment or upgradation get failed you can easily revert the process so basically a snapshot process a snapshot option is used for reverting uh, 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 reverting or uh, what uh, uh, you 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 just um, you can say uh, your newer changes get failed or uh, you uh, you messed up thing related to the upgradation or any other uh, scenarios related to the industry so you have to utilize it and uh, uh, whenever you are going for any upgradation or a new installation or especially on the production server so you have to implement it so it's very simple just click on the tag snapshot option uh, put the uh, identical name over here let's say uh, snap before SQL 
deployment or you can also use a snap before windows updates whatever you want so you can uh, use the identical name so it will be really useful uh, when you are going for uh, reverting your configuration so snap before sql server deployment okay and just click take the snapshot you can also mention uh, in description any date or any uh, kind of other information you or which you want here so just click on the take snapshot button and process will be initiated here you can see that this process is ongoing and within a few seconds now you can see that the snapshot process here you can see that create a snapshot process completed successfully now you have a reference of your bare metal configuration related to the virtual infrastructure now uh, it's your wish what you want to do with this virtual machine you can do you can mess up the things you can install uninstall each and everything uh, uh, every option you can implement over here and if you get failed at any stage you can easily revert by just clicking a single button here we go with the action button again click on the snapshot and here you can see that restore snapshot so when you click on the restore button so it will definitely go with the uh, simple option uh, and uh, restore your vir virtual machine into previous state so i hope that you get the basic concept about the snapshots so whenever you are uh, going to plan uh, any kind of upgradation or any kind of implementation of new applications in your virtual infrastructure you must have to utilize the snapshot options for your virtual infrastructure